using visuals in your course. Week 5 lesson. So here are some questions to think about when using visuals to enhance your course. Would using visuals enhance my learning content? How do I determine when a visual would be effective? What steps should I take to actually transform my lesson? Where to begin? The makeover scenario. Now that you've learned how images can be beneficial to your course content, as well as how to find and use them, you're ready to begin using visuals in your own online courses. But where do you begin? Consider this example scenario. Leah is a college science teacher who currently teaches an online biology course. She's been teaching this course online now for several years, but after some feedback from her students on the amount of text in the course, she feels that a makeover might be due to the course content and design. Many lessons in the course use text descriptions to teach different biology concepts, but after some feedback from past students and additional research, Leah has decided that using visuals in addition to or in place of these text descriptions would make the content much more effective to her students. Leah decides to focus on the lesson teaching photosynthesis as the starting point. While looking through the content, she kept four questions in mind. What is the purpose of adding an image to this particular area? Would an image help add meaning to the content? Would it help me make the course content flow easier? Would an image here be more of a distraction to the learners? After reviewing the content lesson, she determined that a visual would be useful to both give information to her students and promote understanding and support the concept she's teaching. Updating the lesson. The before picture. The first area in this lesson she looks to update is the section where she explains the process of photosynthesis. This is the text she currently has in the course to explain the process. Leah has determined that an image would be more effective to teaching this concept to the students. Updating the lesson. After identifying what she wanted to update in her lesson, Leah selected the Wikimedia Commons site to search for her image after reviewing the licensing information for a particular image and seeing that it was in the public domain, she downloaded it and made sure the image was properly optimized for easy viewing over the web. Using the image, she was able to transform her lesson on photosynthesis. The updated lesson now looked like this. Summary. This demonstration shows the steps you can take to determine where a visual can be used to update your course content. In this scenario, Leah was able to identify a lesson where a visual would enhance the learning content for the students. Using the steps and resources like what we've reviewed in the past few weeks, she was able to find an image, determine its usage rights, download and optimize the image and use it in her online course. Now it's your turn. You can follow the same steps Leah did in this scenario to enhance one of your own lessons using an image. This is it for week five lesson. Ciao.